Hi there and welcome to the final video. In this video we will be focusing on moving the site from Wix to Webflow Hosting. We will be adding the custom domain, we will be buying the hosting plan and we run into one issue because there are two ways how to set up the custom domain in the hosting plan. One is with www and one is the normal one, the default one. Our local provider wasn't really working out as the default option. I think it's really helpful if you, if you run into something similar so you know where to go and uh, exactly where to look for these answers. Cool, let's look at that. So it's time to finally push this live. We're going to do it from here. So we will go to project settings. We will go to hosting. We will add a CMS. We will apply a promo code and we will add a CMS hosting. Get a text when payment fails. Okay, we're going to add our telephone number, connect it, and that's it. That's literally it. Now we have to connect the domain. So we want to add a custom domain before you shine.com. Congrats on setting up your first custom domain. To avoid CEO issues due to duplicated content, we have automatically disabled subdomain indexing in the SEO tab on this site settings. Okay. And now we have to just link this into our domain settings. So it's time to change these. Let's add the A name. And this one should be linking to before you shine. Then we want this one and we want to add it. We want to add new one as well and save. Okay. Interesting. We want to add a C name type www. And that's active. These are linking to Webflow as well. Interesting. I have never done this before, so I don't know how this works. So let's figure this out. Setting before you shine as the default will already like all other custom domains added to this project to before you shine.com. I finally read this. Okay. We will use the option one recommended. We will do this as a default and let's check status still not working. We will try to publish this one to a before you shine. We will obviously unpublish this one from the webflow.io publish successfully. We are still getting issues for the A type. So turns out the main issue was on one bit. You can't change the name servers from Wix to their default. So they had to do it on their side. And the DNS is finally catching up. We are, li we are live in St. Petersburg, Mountain View, California, Madrid, Spain. And you can now see also that the domain is connected and there are no issues. So I'm finally back. Obviously the DNS didn't take a five days. I just didn't have time to finish the video, but I'm back. Everything is finally working. Turns out the main issue we had was that the DNS uh, service, which you'd be using on the Czech uh, provider called OneBit, doesn't support the domain with, without the www. So you actually have to uh, put it as the www and make this one default. Then everything's working. This is obviously what I didn't know. That's why it might be slightly confusing, but it, the easiest way is obviously to reach out to the support either on your uh, DNS provider or the domain ad administration, or just reach out to a uh, Webflow support which I did and uh, my colleague helped me in like a one minute. So 
this is the, this wasn't obviously the most easiest easiest and painful not painful way but it was super super uh easy to do and i just didn't know how to do it and i didn't read this notification which was all the the, the whole time here so it was slightly my mistake in the meantime, uh, we also finished to uh, have a favicon and the web clip, uh, edit the branding and edit my girlfriend as the editor. So now can she can see the whole thing and now she's able to uh, edit basically the whole website from the editor. So now let's say we can check the quotes which we have now. So she already put 11 here and then she can do basically everything from here you can see what people are uh, in the editor i'm now here and then obviously in the in the designer as well and that's basically it uh so bear in mind that if you don't know which dns provider you have uh and it's not probably one of those uh basically uh webflow has nice um nice uh, ad the documentation uh w for all of those but obviously they don't support the, uh they don't uh, list here the check uh provider uh so that was that was obviously one of the issue but that's not their fault that they can list ev they can't list everyone uh or every service so this is the thing uh burden in mind where you'll be sub setting up and if you won't see the site within an hour you might be doing something wrong and it might be basically this thing which is said here that's it everything is live now and uh you can check the site you can do whatever you want uh read the blog uh play with everything what's uh what's here awesome so this is it uh this is the final video and the final part uh, thank you so much for watching uh feel free to reach out in comments if you have any other issues or questions or anything you would or you would want me to cover in the future, uh, I'll be super happy to hear your thoughts. And uh, yeah, bear in mind that this was all sort of like a live stream-ish uh, recording of seven hours of me creating the website. Uh, and in the future, I will really focus on creating some more content around really like focusing on where to click. Uh, be be sure to mention everything I'm doing. And uh, I'll, I'll hopefully improve uh, with the time and all of this sort of will improve over time. I'm also planning on really creating more videos around Webflow, about me working on uh, dashboards and creating digital products. So if you are into some sort of this stuff, uh, please subscribe. I'll be super glad. So thank you so much. And uh, this is me, Jan Lossert, and I will see you in the next videos. Bye bye.